And speaking of the planet, what does the weather look like outside? Wait, don't get up. Christy Waite has a perfect view of the weather with the News, 3, News 3's live cam. Christy, what's up with the weather? This morning we had some alto cumulus clouds drifting across much of the state. These clouds did bring us partly cloudy skies. Thankfully, those clouds did dissipate as we moved into the later morning hours. Right now, things are looking good with our News 3 live cam. We have sunny skies with a few clouds lingering here and there. Currently, it's about 66 degrees. We do have fair and breezy conditions, and those winds are blowing from the west at 29 miles per hour, and we do have gusts up to 23 miles per hour. That's all for you in first weather. Let's go back to Rachel and Martin at the desk. Trick-or-treating is right around the corner. Will the weather be treating us to some beautiful conditions for the rest of the week? Stay tuned. I have your full weather forecast coming up after the break. Now, your local forecast from News 3, New Mexico. Hey, welcome back. Right now outside the studio, things are still looking good. That News 3 live cam is showing us that beautiful fall weather. Things are looking good here, but let's see what's happening with the rest of the state with our Southwest satellite radar. The map is pretty quiet today, however, looks like North and South Dakota are going to get some snow, and there are some isolated showers off the coast of California, but nothing affecting us here at home. Let's check on our local radar to get a closer look on what's happening in our area. Nothing happening in our area right now. The map has been quiet all day, which means that the state had nice weather. However, today's highs were about 15 degrees below normal. Since, since we are on the subject of temperatures, let's check to see just how cold it's going to get tonight. Now, there's one thing that I wanted to show you in particular. You see all this blue right here? That's because that is cold weather, and that means freezing temperatures for most of the state. Now, we do have freeze warnings in effect for east, for the northeast and northeast central plains, and the freeze warning has also been issued for Roosevelt County and most of eastern New Mexico. Let's take a closer look at the lows for tonight with local lows. Temperatures are ranging from upper 20s to low 30s for tonight. Fort Sumner below freezing at 28, Roswell 32, Ruidoso 31, and Carlsbad not as cold at 40. What should you wear tomorrow? Here are the highs. Temperatures are around 60s and low 70s. Artesia 72, Hobbs and Lovington 66, Friona and Milshu at 64. Now that we know what tomorrow is going to be, let's check up on current conditions. Currently humidity is at 19%, so we have some pretty dry air out there. Winds are blowing at 29 miles per hour, and visibility is clear up to 10 miles. What's the store for the rest of the week? Here's the five day. Temperatures are in the 70s for the rest of the week. A high pressure will dominate on Friday throughout most of the area, and highs on Saturday will be 20 degrees above average. Then Saturday and Sunday night, a Pacific cold front will sweep the state, giving us lower temps all across the board. How is this going to affect your pollen? The pollen count is low for the rest of the week, so that won't be affecting your allergies. That's all for weather. Let's go back to Rachel and Martin at the desk. To freeze or not to freeze, that seems to be the weather question of the week. Christy Waite has the answer in final weather. Christy? Tonight, expect freezing temperatures across the state. And don't forget about those freeze warnings that are in effect. That means it's going to be freezing. Bring your pets in because they will get super cold out there. That's all I have for you in weather for tonight. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Martin, Rachel, back to you. The News 3 weather team has been busy tracking two cold fronts that are headed your way. And now we're looking at another one. What does all this mean? I have your full weather forecast and Visit Rodriguez is live in Roosevelt County with some updates. Stay tuned. Next time, New Mexico. Hey, welcome back. I hope all of you are enjoying this weather that we're having. Um, let's go ahead and get started on your full weather forecast. Now, I've been watching two cold fronts. One has already moved into the state, giving us that much cooler temperature that you had today. Then there's the second one that's moving into New Mexico tomorrow. This is the front that is expected to bring the snow. Now, right now on the radar, you can see that we are clear of any of this weather, except for Utah. They're still getting slammed with that winter weather. But let's just make sure that we're not getting any of the snow in our region right now. Sure enough, in our region, we are clear of this winter weather. Uh, the radar isn't picking up any moisture whatsoever. But let's check in with Vincent Rodriguez. He's live in Roosevelt County with your current conditions. Hey, Vincent, how's the weather treating you out there? Thank you, Vincent, for that update. Now, since we have a cold front in effect right now, I wanted to show you how it's affecting the evening lows across the state. Now, the lighter blue shows all the temperatures that are in the freezing level. And then in the darker blue is where temperatures are right at 30 or higher. So let's take a look at the, let's take a close look at the local highs for tonight. 
Lows for tonight are in the 30s to mid 40s across most of the region. Carlsbad and Hobbs 42, Artesia 45, Fort Sumner 32, and Tucum Curry below the freezing mark at 29. Let's see how this front is affecting the highs for tomorrow. Well, temperatures are in the upper 60s to mid 70s tomorrow. Roswell 74, Artesia 76, Friona 61, and a chilly temperature for you on Rio Doso, a high of only 55. Now things are looking much cooler for the rest of the week. Here's a look at your five day. Take a look at your five day temperatures are really dropping for the highs. Now tomorrow I'm positive that you won't be waking up to any snow. In fact, that snow isn't expected to hit until Thursday night. However, I really don't think it's going to be anything too serious. And kids, I'm pretty sure that you will have to go to school on Friday morning. We'll catch a break, however, Friday and Saturday, and then that third front starts to move in, bringing chances of rain for Sunday and Monday. With all this changing in the weather, let's check on that pollen count. Pollen is still in the middle range, but thankfully your allergies won't be bothering you anytime soon. That's all I have for you right now in weather. Let's go back to Cameron at the desk. Thanks. Our region, Christy Wade is standing by live with your final look at weather. Christy? For a few days, we've been talking about a chance of snow, but I can tell you right now, you won't be waking up to any snow. Right now, lows are 30s. Tomorrow's a high of 67. That's all I have for you in final weather. Cameron, back to you. We saw warm, a warm weather front move in on Tuesday, and now wind is blowing our way across the state. Will it get colder as it gets windier? Let's check in with Christy Way in the News 3 Weather Center for an update. Christy? Check out the shot from the News 3 Live Cam. Conditions are looking pretty good out there. And the high actually was pretty mild for this time of the season. But let's check on first weather to see what the conditions are like outside the studio. Now most of the day we had fair conditions here at home, but it was only a chilly high of 53 degrees. And we do have those north winds blowing about 17 miles per hour. And we did have gusts up to 33 miles per hour. And it's making it feel much cooler out there. Well, that's all I have for you right now in first weather. Let's go back to Cameron at the desk. Cameron? It may look nice out there with the new stay live cam, but temperatures have been dropping all week, giving us much cooler weather. Will the weather only get cooler, or can we expect it to warm up? Find out in my full weather forecast coming up next. Now, your local forecast from News 3, New Mexico. Welcome back. Conditions are still looking nice out there with our News 3 live cam. And look at that beautiful sunset out there. Just gorgeous. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the Southwest Satellite Radar. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty excited about the weather this week, and I'm going to tell you a little, on, a little later about why later on in the broadcast. But now, conditions are looking great here in the Land of Enchantment, but looks like other parts of the state are not looking too good. Now, we did have some cloud cover up in the Washington and Idaho area, and they weren't getting so lucky. They were getting hammered with some winter weather. But let's take a closer look in our neck of the woods with the local radar. Now, with our local radar, it's pretty quiet in our area. We have no cloud cover and no winter weather for us right now. But give it a few more weeks and you'll see these conditions start to change and temperatures will drop even more as we move into the winter season. And speaking of cold, wintry temperatures, let's move on to the lows for tonight. Now, it looks good. Now, it looks like a good portion of the state is going to be below freezing for tonight. We do have Santa Fe that's going to be 25. And we're going to go take a close look with the local lows. Local lows for tonight, like I said, are going to be, you know, below the freezing. We do have Capitan 18, Roswell 25, Artesia 28, Hobbs 33, and Carlsbad 27. Thankfully, these are only the lows for tonight, but let's see what's in store for tomorrow with the highs. Our highs are looking much warmer. We have Rui Doso 59, Capitan 58, Hobbs 67, Milshu 63, and Friona 62. Not too bad out there. Now, let's take a look at the current conditions outside the studio. We do have dry air out there with the humidity at 28%. We still have north winds blowing at 17 miles per hour and gusts up to 30 miles per hour. But even with the wind blowing, visibility is clear for 10 miles. Now, I told you earlier I was excited about the weather, and here is why. Temperatures are warming up all across the board starting on Friday. 70s and sunny skies for the rest of the week, and lows are staying in the freezing zone. Well, that's all I have for you right now in your weather forecast. Let's go back to Cameron at the desk. Cameron? 
Tonight we can expect a low 24 for tonight and a mild Thursday with sunny skies and a high of only 64 and temperatures will be in the 70s for the rest of the week. It's been a pleasure giving you your forecast and I can't wait to see you next year right here on News 3. For now, I'm Christy Waite in the Weather Center. Make sure you bring your pets in. Have a great night and I will see you soon. Cameron, back to you. Kayleen, this is the reason why fall is my favorite season. We've had fair conditions all day, and these fair conditions brought a high of only 54 degrees. Much cooler than what we've been used to, considering the fact two weeks ago temperatures were in the 70s. Right now, we do have north winds blowing at about 60 miles per hour. That's a look at your first weather for tonight. Let's go back to Rachel and Martin in the studio. Thank you. Even though other parts of the state are having some interesting weather, our current conditions here at home are still looking good. We do have dry air with the humidity at 28%. We still have those north winds blowing up to 16 miles per hour, and your visibility is still clear up to 10 miles. Let's go back to Kayleen, who's live in the studio. She has the rest of your weather details. Kayleen? This is for demand.